Allie. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, and you know, you don't have to cover up. It's not like it's anything I haven't seen before. Are you kidding me? You come in here and expect me to... No, you know what? It doesn't matter. Mind if I sit? Look, I know why you left me. I do, and I completely understand. Daniel, this really isn't the best time. I was gonna kill myself this morning. What? How? I was gonna jump off the Golden Gate Bridge. That's a little cliche, don't you think? Are you serious? Are you serious? Or is this just another one of your several attempts to gain sympathy out of me? Of course me? I'm fucking serious! Okay, I'm sorry! I didn't think you... I'm sorry. There's just... There's a lot of things I want to say right now, and I've been meaning to say this for a while. You came out here with me ten years ago, and I had this idea of what I was going to be. I was going to write these big novels, not necessarily big ones, but I was going to write them, and I was going to take care of you. But it didn't happen. It didn't. I mean, I, I couldn't write. And instead of trying, I just gave up. I gave up on the book. I gave up on myself. And mo most of all, I gave up on us. I mean, I wanted to be brilliant, but in the end, all I could be was me. And it took you leaving me for me to realize that. And? And what? That's everything. I mean, wh what more do you want me to say? Daniel, I realized that. And I tried with you. I really tried. But that was the past, and I don't see how addressing it now is going to change anything. Well, I'm not saying it's going to change what happened. But I'm telling you that it's not going to happen again. How? Well, maybe I wasn't cut out to write. Maybe I was meant to teach English or to open up a vacuum repair shop. The point is that I've realized that I've been waiting around for too long. And it was unfair of me to keep you waiting too. Okay, great. You realized it. Now what? I just want to fall back in the same routine of sitting at home on the couch eating a box of cereal while I pay the bills? Daniel, you just never tried. I don't think you ever will. Hi there. Ah! I uh, couldn't help but overhear you too. And as a, as a semi-licensed therapist, I think I, I may be able to offer some advice. Who the fuck are you? Uh, I'm a, a friend of your husband's. You run a marriage counselor? We met on the bridge. He was jumping too. True story. Hey, uh, you want to, um... Okay. Oh. Must be the wife. I've uh, heard a lot about you. Yeah, anyway, look, uh, I've seen a lot of uh, couples in the same situation as you two, and um, I've noticed that, um, well, you don't seem to have a lot of faith in your husband. Kind of seem as a, a fuck up, and that's beyond forgiveness in your eyes. Fuck up? Uh, oh, pardon my French. Um, failure. Uh, and then, uh, Daniel, uh, do you have confidence in Allison? I do. Oh, yes. Good. Okay. Good. See? This is progress. Now, you <sighs> take a lot of effort on your part. You've clearly been affected by this split up as well, hmm? I mean, look at you. Laying in bed at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, huh? Place is, is a mess. You got, uh... Lampshade knocked over and, and clothes all over the... Uh, I'm sorry, but... Did somebody just get fucked in here? What? Who the fuck is this guy?
is Ned. Ned's used auto lock? Maybe you've seen the commercials? I actually got your wife a hell of a deal on the Mustang. I think I still have some cards left. You want to reach in my <laughs> If I may, I uh, don't really do adultery very well, so I'm just gonna step back outside. Uh, Daniel, I wanted to tell you, I, I really did. But I was afraid of how you would react. How long? Three years. <laughs>